I remember many years ago, and that was in the early years of Daystar Christian Center. This would be like when Daystar Christian Center was uh, about two years, you know, after we started, and I was getting frustrated. I was getting frustrated because there were growth targets that I had set, and we were not meeting the targets. So I went to my mentor, Dr. David Oedipo. I said to him, sir, what do you do when you've done everything you know to do about growing the church and the church refuses to grow? He said to me, you know, this growth thing is a seasonal thing. That is why it is written in the scriptures. Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we paint not. So he said, it's a seasonal thing. <laughs> when the season comes, he said, the growth will come. He said, as long as the farmer continues to put seeds in the soil, he doesn't have a problem because it's a matter of season. When the time comes for him to get a harvest, there's a high likelihood he will get a harvest. He said, but if out of frustration, he stops planting the seeds. He said, when the harvest season comes, God will have nothing to multiply for him. So he said, whatever it is you have been doing, continue to do it. I will never forget that conversation because of the paradigm shift that it gave me. Never. And that reminds me again of a conversation I had with Dr. Yedepo when I was telling him how we had an event and he said, oh, that's fantastic. I was telling him how great it was, how powerful the uh, delivery was by the guest speaker. Then when I was done, he said, well, can I tell you something? <laughs> Don't think that you will grow that church on guest speakers. That church cannot outgrow you. You are the shepherd that God has put over that church. He said to me, why don't you become the person that people want to listen to? I will never forget that statement because it's one of the most challenging statements I ever had in my life. Oh yes, you hear, you've been hearing of other people, they're powerful speakers, so you want to bring them to your conference. Okay, so they'll help you attract a crowd, right? He said, so you. He would not have said that if he didn't know that I had the capacity to do it. He spoke to that potential. When things were not happening fast enough, one day I said to my sweetheart, Nikki, I said, come with me, let's go on a retreat. We're going to a guest house. I want to go and ask God whether I'm supposed to be pastoring or not. Because yes, I'm getting invitations to speak everywhere, but the church is not growing. She said, but you told me God told you to do this. I said, I need to ask him again. <laughs> you can imagine what he said. He sent me back on the job and here we are. So imagine if I gave up on Daystar Christian Center, shut it down two years, okay? In, in, you know, in just a few weeks, we're going to be 25. Daystar is going to be 25. What if I gave up? I charge you today, never, ever give up.